I'm Georgia and I'm a personal trainer and Pilates instructor in Leicester. Today I'm going to take you through an introduction to Pilates. What you're going to need is a mat or a soft carpeted surface and a little thin cushion. It could be a cushion from your sofa or a thin yoga block. So take a seat on that and let's get started. So we're going to start with breathing. So with your knees bent, feet hip distance apart and your hands resting on your shins. You're going to inhale and promote a sensation of growing taller, looking straight ahead. And on your exhale, feel the ribcage come back in. So nicely inhale through your nose and exhale through pursed lips, like you're blowing on a hot coffee. Now keep your breath going and just notice how the ribcage expands and then comes back in. On the inhale, always trying to grow taller. And on the exhale, feel the ribcage come back in. Now we're going to start to feel the core a little bit more. So maybe thinking, on that exhale, imagine your torso where a tube of toothpaste and you're trying to squeeze the last bit of toothpaste out. So every time you exhale, you feel that squeeze and you start to feel the abdominals. On your next exhale, nod the chin and roll down so you're looking down at your knees. From here, take the same three deep breaths. And this time you'll notice you can feel the ribcage a little bit more, especially around the back. You can feel the ribcage expand on the inhale and then come back in on the exhale. Take three breaths here in your own time. And on your last one, on the exhale, you roll back up until you're looking straight. Great, take that cushion away and you're going to come to lying on your back with your knees bent. We're going to go for imprint and release. So, I'll talk you through it. Hands by your sides. In fact, to begin with, find the front of the hips just so you're aware of where those two hip bones are. On your inhale, you're going to push them away. And on the exhale, you're going to engage the abdominals to draw them back in towards you. Inhale and exhale. Now remove the hands and just keep the pelvis basically rock and rolling forwards and back. On your exhale, try to feel that the abdominals are bringing the, the hips back and you're lightly pressing the back onto the mat. Inhale to release and exhale to engage the core. Start to reduce the movement. So you're always going into that light imprint of the lower back on the mat. But you're reducing how much you release. Just kind of reducing the range. And then we're going to find neutral, where there's a little gap under our lower back, just enough for maybe a ladybug to crawl underneath your back. And your two hip bones should feel like they're pointing straight up towards the ceiling. Now we're going to go for hip release. So if there's any tension in the hips, it's hard to maintain a neutral spine. So let's go for hip release. We're going to keep the right leg completely still. It's part of the challenge and the two hip bones facing up. With the left leg, we're going to inhale for the first half of the movement and exhale for the second. So you inhale, drop the knee out, don't let the right knee move. And then you keep the foot in contact with the mat and lengthen it away from you, rotating it outwards. On the exhale, we roll the leg inwards and drag it back up, still keeping in contact with the mat. So inhale for the first half. And exhale for the second. Keep that going. And then changing leg. So now keeping that left foot where it is, check you've still got a little gap under your lower back. And then dropping the right knee out. Inhaling for the first half, exhaling for the second. Notice how the pelvis really wants to move. It wants to drop out to the right with the knee. As the weight goes to the right, the whole body wants to go to the right. We're trying to promote a sense of stability. Not tension, but stability through the core, through the pelvis, through the lower back. So try to reduce the movement, slow it down, and keep those hip bones completely still. Maybe you start to feel that abdominal connection again, which is great, that's what you want to feel. And three on each side, and relax. We're gonna go into hip rolls. So similar to before, that imprint and release. On your next exhale, you're gonna engage the abdominals and lightly press the low back onto the mat. Keep that movement going as your glutes become lighter and you start to lift the pelvis off the mat. Coming up, 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 into a shoulder bridge. 
We're going to stay here for one inhale, really expanding the ribcage with that inhale, and then the exhale, roll back down through the spine, vertebrae, vertebrae, placing the back, back down onto the mat. Roll through that imprint, lower back, and back into neutral. Remember, neutral is with that little gap under your lower back. Inhale here, expanding the ribcage, and on the exhale, again, contract the abdominals into imprint, and start to peel the spine off the mat. At the top, take a deep inhale, and on the next exhale, you roll back down through the spine. Keep this going, roll through that imprint again, really roll through the lower back, so you're rounding the lower back, and then back into neutral. Two more in your own time. Remember the breath patterns. And I only want you to come up so that the weight is still on your shoulders, not onto your neck. Really squeeze the glutes to the top, that's key to the movement, and then roll back down. Articulating the spine, so again, we're giving some mobility training to this, for the spine and engaging the glutes. One more. And here, I don't need to come up so high that you're really pushing through the lower back. You only come up high enough that you can squeeze the glutes and still feel that abdominal connection, the weight on your shoulder blades. And then back down. Great. Next we've got ab prep, our first sort of ab exercise. And um, we want to maintain neutral. So it's going to look like a sit-up, but if you do a full sit-up, you're going to use mostly your rectus abdominals, the six-pack muscle, and you're going to come up quite high and it's going to contract and almost pop up. Instead, we want to engage the TBA, the deep core muscles that wrap all the way around our torso. In order to do that, I don't want you to come up too high. So the hands are placing on the mat. When we lift up, we're going to reach the hands towards our toes. So we're going to inhale, nod your chin a little bit, lengthen the back of the neck. Exhale, peel the upper back off and reach, really reach for your toes with your hands. Hold here for one inhale. And exhale to roll back down. And take the hands down. On the next inhale, nod the chin and exhale, peel the spine off. Notice how I'm not coming up that high, I'm almost like just running the thoracic and keeping the, my core engaged all the way around. I'm keeping that little gap under my back. And if I come up too high, I lose that gap and the abdominals start to pop up. So try and avoid that. So reset at the bottom, make sure you've got a little gap under your back. Inhale, drop the eye line down, lengthen the back of the neck, and then peel the spine off. Reaching for your toes, really feel the abdominals on that exhale, and a nice deep inhale. Then on the next exhale, you roll back down. One more in your own time. Next, we're going to go for breaststroke. So lying on your front, lengthen the legs. And for this one, we're going to take our forearms down to the floor. Gently point the toes, and the first thing to do is squeeze the glutes to lengthen the lower back. I want you to feel the weight on your pubic bones. The muscles we're working are your glutes throughout, an isometric contraction of the glutes, and then we're going to work the erector spine, the group of muscles that run along the sides of your spine. And with, for example, bent over a desk, they get lengthened and kind of switch off. We're going to try and activate them and strengthen them. So you're going to inhale and really look down at the mat. Keep looking at down the whole time at the mat. On your inhale, you draw the shoulders back, and on the exhale, you're going to lift up with those back muscles. The hands are just there to assist you. Take a deep inhale here, and on the exhale, come back down and relax. So again, the inhale, draw your shoulders back. The exhale, try and reach the head towards the top of the mat first, and then you lift it up. So you're always trying to promote that sense of lengthening the spine, and then an inhale here, and an exhale back down. One more. And then relax here, we're going to take the arms up to the side. So we're going to do the same exercise, I'll show you one. So now I no longer have that little assistance from my forearms. So with the arms by your sides, you're going to inhale, draw the shoulders back and lengthen the lower back. Remember that glutes, glute contraction. One more in your own time. And notice that I don't come up as high, so it's gonna be harder. I don't have that assistance from the arms, but 
But that's okay, the main thing is you want to feel the erector spinal muscles and your glutes. For the last one, hands down on the mat, forehead on your hand, and the whole thing, head and forearms have to come up, so it's harder, it's a lot more weight now. Let's give it a go. Thank you.